Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Do please like and subscribe. I think there's a subscribe button down in the corner. It really does help me and the channel and motivates me to get out to do more videos. Talking about boat videos, we are today down with the guys at Blue Lagoon Marine to have a look at this Finmaster T6. Now, if you're looking to buy this, this is a great example of a fantastic boat to get you out on the water. This one does come with the trailer. I have double checked. Really great little finish day boat as I say with a cuddy cabin and also this one benefits from having a loo as well starting at the front first thing I noticed actually is this is quite neat because it has a set of headlights if you like one on each side you do have the conventional navigation lights up here as well but a couple of headlights when you're going along particularly if it's a finished boat you can actually see where you're going and also if I jump up on the trailer here because this is a finished boat they really do love pulling up and getting uh, anchoring nose to, or sort of stern anchoring, and then climbing off using this ladder here to exit the boat at the front. Typically finished thing, and you can see while we're here that we have got a lovely selection of teak decking, four hatch that enables you to get in and out of the the cuddy cabin, and again, really uh, great to have on any boat. Full set of wipers, and you can see. Here is the forward screen to get onto the foredeck. So really nice example. This, this one's done, I think, on or around 10 hours. She comes with the standard base engine, which is the 130 Yamaha. As I mentioned, you can see teak all around. There's a couple of storage lockers here, one on this side like so fuel filler over there as well oh and there's another one on the other side exactly the same fantastic ski tow tower toy tower call it what you like here quickly climb up the ladder and again you can get around the back of the boat to both sides to both sides of the bathing platform really quite easily comes with this really decent factory fitted canvas cover and bimini and that leads you st oh, <laughs> straight in to the cockpit really good wraparound seating nice drop in as well so nice and cozy when you're in there you can enter either side you can see there's a cushion there i've taken this one out this side so you can gain entry really straightforward climb into the cockpit i then pop that cushion back in there You'll notice that the teak follows right the way through inside as well. I plant myself over here. You can see that big section of wraparound seating. There's a couple of infill cushions which infill in the back here, which we'll look at in a moment. But all of this space is storage. So if we unclip these two catches here. Big storage bin in the back. Again, really nice to see it self-supporting on a gas strut. That gives you access to things like the fuel filter over there and then under the floor you've got engineering access to pumps and tankage Let's drop that back down catch that back up in there exactly the same on this side so over here another big locker again beautifully self-supported in this instance we have the fenders and that then goes right the way back round the back of the aft seat and joins up on the other side so tons and tons of storage just drop that back down and in this instance you can see the navigator seat is then folded forwards to give you or to make that seat part of the wraparound seating at the back and if you're traveling forwards you can pop that forwards or backwards depending on your your view of it and then that gives you the ability to face forward with a really good view out over the deck. On the starboard side, we have the helm station with a really neat fin master seat. Lovely deep seat to sit in. Really, really big side, so loads of self support. That swivets, swivets, <laughs> that swivels and faces the back, so you can face everyone when you're dining. And again, I'll 
drop in a picture in a bit so there's a, a table that fits into that foot as well helm seat's really nice because it comes with an armrest that's your throttle controller you've got your engine trim on the side there there is a ignition key and a 12 volt outlet down there fusion stereo over here and then your engine rev counter and speed and fuel there Garmin GPS navigation system and again they've done away with sort of the carling switches and given you much nicer solenoid switches we looked at it from outside on the bow so you can now see that there's three steps up here that takes you through that forward hatch so this whole window section here clips and unfolds giving you access to the fore deck and again you can see now that this cover fits in all the way around so if you're at the helm and it's a bit of a drizzly day you can zip out just this one panel here because there's a zip there and there's a zip there roll it up hook it into these straps that are dropping down from here and still have pretty good cover from foul weather or equally you can roll all three of those front section screens up and have great visibility out forwards or you can fold the whole thing down and this is what's really great with these Finnish boats so you effectively unzip it all, unclip it all, roll it and fold it all the way back and it quite neatly drops into here so it actually sits in that entire section there and because it could be wet when you drop it down here it's actually self draining so there are drain points all the way along it drains to the lowest point runs out the back of the boat so you're not having to have the cover sitting out the way and it again you can see here fits quite well into these channels so there is as mentioned a cubby cabin so behind this door which neatly slides across is your cuddy cabin obviously no headroom but the whole thing infills to a massive absolutely massive forward berth you can see light coming through the four deck hatch we looked at earlier and what is quite neat is as I said it earlier it does have a little loo or a heads that's cushion pops out like so and there you go easy to operate easy to you use Thetford chemical toilet you can also take out this seat this section here and there's a little seat down there as well so you can actually sit down there put your feet in there and sit down there and, and use that space there's a couple of lights at the front just a really practical and as you can see pretty spotless boat as I say just done over 10 hours so it hasn't had much use and the last thing before we leave and again this is typically finished and gives you a really good idea of how well they design these boats so this whole section here you can infill as a massive sun pad the problem is on a small boat is what do you do with the sun pad infills when you're not using them normally most people throw them into the forward cabin and they just get in the way but what they've done here which is brilliant is you use these side panels so side panel one lifts out drops down like so side panel two pulls out excuse me doing this one-handed and drops down like so let's just tidy that cushion up at the back so there you go you now have your full-size sun lounger and again those cushions aren't getting in the way so when you finish with it really straightforward they lift up you see the catches on the back they line up with the catches on the side that drops in simple as that same on the other side <laughs> shows you how easy it is you can do it one-handed whilst you're holding a video camera that one drops in there like so fold the seat forward again and then you've got that massive again bearing in mind this is a t6 this is just a shade over six meters this boat and you've got this really lovely deep safe dry cockpit area so there you go oh, i'll sit back down here so that is the finmaster t6 if you want a bit more information contact the guys at blue lagoon marine down in pool do please as i mentioned at the start like and subscribe and i will see you next time round Thank you very much for watching.